Hey guys, it's me, Kat. Um, I am not at home. If you look at the background, I thought about cleaning my hotel room, but I'm actually leaving tonight. So uh, I'd rather just film and hang out. Um, so excuse the mess. I am in the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas for work. I thought I'd do a get ready with me. I just bought a $10 water. This is what $10 water looked like. Your girl was lazy and she just took it from the mini bar. So it's so dry out here. I can't, I didn't have enough time. Usually when I get here to Las Vegas, I have the cab driver or town car driver because sometimes I'm extra. And I asked them to stop somewhere and I'll get like a case of water, but I didn't have time. I had to literally, my plane was delayed and then they sh changed gates like three times. So um, by the time I got to Las Vegas, uh, I had to be somewhere at a specific time. So I put a bunch of like little waters in my purse, but I didn't finish, I, I finished them. And then I tried the tap water it was disgusting so if it's dark I apologize it's really early it's like 6 30 in the morning I'm, I'm putting on some makeup and if you hear a little um, uh, background noise I'm listening to YouTube this is my normal um, routine I like to listen to YouTube while I put on makeup right now I'm listening to Andy May she's doing a skin and sunscreen haul so go support my girl um, if I don't mention what I'm using, I'll just um, put it in the screen or if I remember. But it's not really about the makeup, it's more about I want to talk to you guys. So Charlotte Tilbury, I'm using a uh, magic cream, I'm using a Q-tip to take it out. Anyways, Las Vegas, here for a work conference. I just started a new job and um, so I think I had mentioned in a few of my videos I was going through some rough times um, I got laid off last year and it was very devastating I had been with the company that I had previously been with for 12 years and it was a complete shock I mean in retrospect I guess it wasn't a complete shock I just didn't think it was gonna happen to me I guess I got too comfortable um, Charlotte Tilbury this is magic eye rescue same q-tip different side and I'm gonna put this on my eyes so that happened when I get laid off. I got laid off on October 11th and um, it was difficult. I, uh, I went through some serious like grieving phases because of the job. I mean, I'm a career girl. Like I, yes, I'm married, but I had this career before Brad. I've been in financial services since 1999. Um, I bought my house before I got married. I bought it by myself. So I, I went through a lot of stages of being worried about like what's gonna happen. So um, yeah, thankfully I landed a job in January towards the end and I've been here for over a week now. It's It's been great. I've I already went to training um, I think I, I mentioned in one of my videos the one I did my five essential things for um, travel that <coughs> excuse me that I was going to Bozeman Montana so I went and I talked I don't know if you can see it but I have my little mini um, humidifier going here in Las Vegas because it's essential sometimes like when I put on this cream it still kind of stays sticky so I kind of have to wait um, but I like to, I did moisturize, so here's a tip. Uh, when, when I'm out of town, and you know, I even do this when I'm in town, like at home. I feel like my skin, even though I'm oily, I still have to moisturize because the, the products I use with all the powder to make me matte makes me like really accentuate my fine lines and my age, and I don't like that. So. I've been trying to really hydrate, so I did moisturize with um, my Glossier Primer Moisture Rich, and then I, yeah, I, I put these on. So, anyways, now I'm gonna put some Glossier um, Perfecting Skin Tint in Dark. Um, I've been just putting this lightly, just so the like powder. 
I've been just putting, not even powder foundation, I've just been putting translucent powder on top. Because I feel like it looks fine. No one's told me that I look terrible. You guys haven't said I look terrible. So, I figured. My, I just, I'm just tired of foundation right now. So. Uh, any, anyways, how you guys been? Now I let you guys know my little secret of being unemployed. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about that but for me it was it was hard I worked really hard to get to the position I had I had a VP title I managed my own territory um, I was a top performer at one time I was really respected in my company and you know to get it all taken away I just got it like a really serious identity crisis like who I who am I now I mean like I just felt like I still felt like me, and I was a wife, and I was a sister, and I was a parent to my animals, but I, like, I was missing something like, who am I as my career? Because I kind of always identified myself as this VP. So anyways, I um, started this new job. It's a smaller company. I met everyone. I love them. They seem great. We get along really good. Um, I don't have a VP title, but I, it's like I have, it's a regional consultant I'm doing the exact same thing, except I might, my, my territory is bigger. I'm using the NARS, I don't know what this is. This is old. I'm trying to finish it. That's all I have left. So can you guys see that? I'm just trying to finish it. Um, I'm, I'm managing a bigger territory. So I have like all of LA County, um, all the way to San Luis Obispo, uh, to Bakersfield, and then I'm covering Hawaii. <clears throat> so, I've had most of these territories before, I just never had them all at one time. So, I'm excited, but I'm kind of like, oh my god, it's a big territory. Not that I'm like scared of it, it's just like, how am I going to be able to manage all of that at once? and keep my clients happy and not um, make them feel neglected because I cannot physically be at every single area every week. You know, I can't, I can't go from Long Beach to San Luis Obispo to Bakersfield and see who I need to see on an every week basis. Oh, and go to Hawaii too. So, so I'm gonna figure that out. It's not, it's not the, that's not like my biggest problem, it's fine. It's part of what I do. But I'm super happy. I'm here in Las Vegas, I'm here for a big conference. Got to see some of my old clients, got to see some of my competitors. Now, when I say competitors, yeah, someone that I actually have to fight for business from. But all of like, you know, if when you've been in the business for as long as I have, I've been in the business for since 99, what does that make it, 18 years? It's 18 years? <clears throat> you end up knowing everyone you've all worked together um, you've all worked together at one time at one place um, some of them have been my weddings some of them you know I, I've been to their baby showers or christenings or you know divorce parties <laughs> like I we've all grown up together so we all know each other so it's good to catch up because I know a lot of them were worried about me you know because if, if, if something similar happened to them, I would be worried to them, for them. And I, you know, what was so great about, I wouldn't say it's like great, like this is um, great about getting laid off. But what I noticed is like, who showed up? Which friends showed up? I mean, which, which ones were the most supportive? Who, who called you, who kept up with you, who, provided you leads and gave you moral support and um, just, you know, who showed up? And a lot of them did. Not that I was, I wasn't surprised, but yet I was because I got into like a deep depression. Like I was like, didn't want to talk to anyone <laughs> and I didn't want to like have to explain because all honesty, I was like super embarrassed about being let go. So, but, you know, it was 
someone referred me to a recruiter who got me to this job, which is amazing because I don't know if I would have found this on my own, honestly. But if I think about like all the jobs I've had in my um, in my past, I like the the only job I found on my own was the first one out of college. Everything else was a lead from someone else. So if you are planning on staying in the career or the occupation or the field, like whatever you want to call it, that you're in and you are looking for a job, always make friends. Always make friends with coworkers, always make friends with the competitor. You can still have a competitor and be friendly with them because they can help you out. Anastasia Granite, I'm trying to finish, this is in my uh, Project Pan 2018, I'm trying to finish this. So I might be quiet while I do this, I might actually speed it up or cut this out because it, I take like three or four minutes just to draw on eyebrows, isn't that sad? 90s, over plucked, and this is what happens. I seriously, I had looked into um, well, before I found out about microblading, I had seriously looked into getting uh, eyebrow implants. So they take hair from your scalp and then put it on your face. So what that means is you have, like, like your eyebrow hair only grows so long and then falls out. Your, like, head hair will continuously grow. So that means, like, if you don't keep up with, you could have, like, eyebrows that you can, like, pin back. And um, I have thick eyebrow hair, like I don't have a lot, but I have thick eyebrow hair and, but my head, my hair on my head is a lot thicker and it kind of um, threw me off. Like, I don't know if I want to have thicker eyebrow hair, really. And um, it also, <clears throat> I go gray pretty fast, like you don't, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, like in my part, depending on how I part my hair. Hold on, let me, Andy May is already done, so let me, let me choose another um, video I want to watch. I'm going to watch Michelle Wang, Top 5 Tuesdays, she's going to talk about powders. Um, so anyways. So, yeah, that's, I, t I looked into eyebrow hair replacement, I guess, I don't know. So it was $7,000. I didn't do it, obviously, because it's dumb. But I'm trying to figure out how I can do microblading. And I've been watching a lot of videos, like Mrs. Mrs. Kong's mom, she talked about hers, and she's got oily skin. And um, she had, not, I mean, it just... I guess oily faced people, it doesn't last as long. So I'm kind of like, oh man, I don't know if I want to do the maintenance on it. You know, like if it's going to be more than average. My mom got it done and it looks great. Um, so I kind of want to get that done, but I could already tell it's like fading and she doesn't want to touch it up. She's like, this is it. I'm, she's like, I'm not doing it again. And I can understand, it's like time out of your day. I mean, I recently, because I started working again, I got, I'm putting another color, I'm using chocolate, the other one was granite. Um, I recently started getting my nails done again, and I just, this is the first time in a long time, and I'm like dreading having to get them like a color change, because I get the gel, and I have to like, you know, I can't just like take the color off, and let's say rip the color off. I have to go somewhere for someone to do it. And I don't know, for you that get your nails done at a salon, like when you are like in a hurry or don't have time, have you ever been stuck with like chip nails, peeling nails, um, you know, a cut like you're, it's halfway down your cuticle, like just, just not where you want it to be and you just don't have time. Fuck, I just, uh, I need to figure out how I'm gonna fit this in. Cause I don't know how to paint my own nails. I watch um, Jenna, Tutor how do you, 
<coughs> I'll link her channel. Is it up here? Or is that up here? Over here. She does some great nail tutorials and she's got these long nails. And I'm like, I don't know how to paint my own. Life would be easier if I could do it. I'll be right back. I need some tissue. So I got um, my setup. There's like a sitting station with two chairs and like a little tiny coffee table and the windows right here. So I just put my little tripod, which is actually on my phone. I usually film my, my phone. My first few videos were on my phone, um, but I usually film on my iPad. I know, big upgrade. <laughs> but um, I just put a towel down and put my makeup and stuff like that. So here I am. Thanks for joining me. So, I talked about, I need to give you some channel updates. I talked about like um, going on a low buy, like when I did my, I think I did it on my IMATS video. Yeah, I, wanna, um, I went on a low buy. Actually, I'm getting creasy from my concealer. Let me, um, I'm gonna put some powder on my eyelids. my eyelashes so I talked about going on a low buy and my thing was like I'm not gonna buy makeup yada 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 except for Pat McGrath because I'm, I'm obsessed with that lady and um, then just so you know the whole tart thing happened and it got me really upset like so upset about the whole like and it's not about not having my color. It's about how I feel about makeup and it brings me back to high school. I remember when um, when I first started getting into makeup, you know, my dad actually, it was, which was kind of weird, my dad bought me makeup first. Uh, he bought me an eyeshadow quad. Um, and that was like the first thing I actually, my dad bought me before that I was either stealing makeup or like buying it myself and um, I was mostly buying shadows and like eyeliners and stuff like that lipsticks I never bought any base products like face products so my dad bought me makeup just like a little eyeshadow trio and I did that for a minute and then I wanted to do more so once I got the whole, my dad bought me makeup, I figured it was okay for me to go to the store and I can buy makeup and use it and not have to hide it. So, um, I remember all of my friends were always had this like cover girl. This is like the brown compact, you know, the brown compact. And they would always like pat their face right before, right after class, before they went to next. So they're always powdery. And I'm like, what? I want to, I want to look like that. You know, so I went to the store and I went and looked at CoverGirl and I went and like, you know, there was like so many shades and I went down the list and I went to like the, like the darkest at the time and I bought it. And I tried to do the powder thing and I just looked ashy. I think it was like warm beige and it was nothing warm or beigey about it it was like all ashy so that was like how and then I noticed like at that point I noticed like the this brand was not for me so I rushed back to um, CVS or whatever the drugstore was I think it was CVS the drugstore at the time and I tried to find um, I'm like maybe I grabbed the maybe there's another row and I went there and like I tried to find something darker and CoverGirl didn't have it. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that's weird. I didn't think that, like I didn't, you know, I didn't think that I wouldn't have a color. So I went to like Maybelline, same thing. And then I went to L'Oreal and Wet n Wild, Alme and, um, like whatever was at the drugstore I looked I looked at all of it and um, I there was no color for me it was all that same tone of that beige that was gonna make me ashy so I was like I don't understand you know I was like 16 15 16 at the time I didn't understand like I don't, like how am I supposed to wear makeup 
<clears throat> so like I remember like um, I don't know where I was was I like in a like I, I think it was like not like a drugstore but not a department store maybe something like in the middle was it like a God, I'm trying to think was it like a Fedco or a Gemco I was somewhere and there was like a display for you know like um, African-American women's makeup and I was like oh maybe these are my colors so I looked at all of them and I went from to the like the lightest spectrum and uh, I bought it and it was like super dark on me it was like very yellow, very um, um, like a brownie yellow. Like I don't even think on my tannest day I could get that dark. Okay, Michelle's video just ended. I need to watch it again. But I'm gonna watch uh, Rachel Winter's Project Perfume, her update for 2018, her first one. Go Rachel, let's see what you got done. So anyways, I wasn't able to find a shade in the traditional sense of what was out there and then for the the makeup for black women for african-american women the shade was too dark so I was like I just felt really alone I just felt like well wow, they don't cater to me they don't cater to my skin tone and I just felt really alone you know say what you will it just felt like they don't see me you know this makeup industry doesn't see me they don't appreciate me so I was like I think I just stopped where I just I think I might have mixed those powders and you know just or maybe I stopped wearing foundation it just it didn't seem like I used anything for a long time I didn't use any face products for a long time I, was, I just played around with like my eyes and my lips you know so then um, so then like, I think I was talking to someone about it and she told me, like one of my girlfriends, and she told me, she's like, oh yeah, like oh, one of my girlfriends that was similar in color to me, she's like, oh you have to go to the mall. You have to go to the mall and you have to go to the department store and they'll color match you. And she's like, you should get MAC. They have like every color in the world. And I was like, MAC, what's that? Cause you know, when I go to the department store with my mom, it was all like Estee Lauder and Clinique, just things that, you know, like at that time I thought were old lady makeup. And so um, I just was like, what, what is this? So when I finally figured out where Mac was, it was inside Nordstrom. And at that time I was like, fuck, Nordstrom is like where all the money is. And it was in another town that wasn't like like I couldn't ride my bike too. I had to like get in a car and um, go there. So in my head, I was like, when I make money, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy Mac. That was that was what was gonna happen. So when I got into college, I had my little collection of uh, makeup and um, stuff, and I was wearing it. And then I was at you know I was in Hollywood, I was parting my little ass off like I did not studying I was a terrible I was a terrible student when I moved away to college I seriously just wanted to party and um, have fun and work and make money and I didn't care about school it's terrible anyways so I was in Hollywood I made a bunch of friends we were just you know partying on the Sunset Strip and then um, um, our friends, uh, there were these bouncers who bounced at the whiskey, the world famous whiskey a go go. They were like, Oh, we're going to this after hours. I'm like, Oh, well, sign me up. We'll go to the after hours. So I went to the after hours and he had to, like, it was like the shitty part of town. Like, when I say shitty, I mean shitty. They, like, um, the bouncers wouldn't, like, just let me, like, walk there by myself they had to make sure I was <laughs> escorted in there because that wasn't they were like it's not really safe I'm like all right whatever you know and I had these two big dudes like walking me in I was like no one can beat me up I'm gonna have them beat you up so anyways um where I was parked 
when I came out from the um, after hours that one time, my car got broken into and my bag was stolen and my makeup was stolen. So everything was stolen. And so when I finally, the next day, I was like, well, I don't have any makeup. I need my makeup. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go to the mall. I'm going to get a Mac and I'm going to buy everything. So I bought, like, I bought a studio fix. I bought a foundation powder. I bought three eyeshadows. I bought um, a blush. And I bought, uh, what else did I buy? Oh, and I bought makeup brushes. Oh, and I bought lipstick and a lip liner and eyeliner. So I bought the um, makeup brushes. I got a blush brush. I got a crease brush. And I got a flat shader brush. And I remember that it cost like five hundred dollars or something like that. I might have bought more. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. I still have all the brushes that I have, and I use the whole like. I think I might have bought. Actually, I think I might have bought two lipsticks. I think I bought a nude lipstick, and I bought um, a red lipstick. So I got, and then I got two lip liners because I had to have a lip liner with my. Um, with my um, lipsticks. I couldn't, I was one of those girls that like couldn't put on lipstick without lip liner. So anyways, I was just amazed at how, how many colors MAC had. It was like, they had like every shade. And I was like, wow, this company, I remember thinking about this. I'm like, this company sees me. They see everyone, they see, like, there's no person that they're not going to get makeup. Like, every, if anyone has the money, they can get makeup. I remember thinking that. So, anyways, the, this whole long story is made me, like, is, is kind of connected to Tarte. So, when uh, Tarte was announcing they, were, they had something coming, and mind you, the Shape Tape is, like, my favorite. Um, concealer you know I got into the hype I was like you know shape tape shape tape shape tape it's like the number one concealer and a lot of youtubers talk about it, a lot of youtubers rave about it a lot, I mean I've recommended shape tape to a lot of people so when they were announcing that they were going to um, have a new um, <clears throat> A new foundation I was like sweet like I want to know what that's all about <coughs> excuse me and then I saw the shade range and I just it, it drew me back to what I felt like in high school like they don't see me and some people was like well they're coming out with different shades and I'm like well why didn't they come out with it before you know like it's just gonna leave me this ashy color or I have to mix two colors, and um, two colors means it's gonna be like an almost $80 um, foundation. And you know, like, if you follow my channel, I do buy expensive stuff. And I, I'm, not a, I'm not afraid to buy expensive makeup if I know it's gonna work. But to me, that is not expensive in the sense that it's a $70 bottle. It's two bottles. I don't want to have to buy two bottles. I'm not a mix my foundation thing. I, although, when Nikki Tutorial talks about it, I'm like, that's interesting. I've tried it a couple times, and it just seems too much work. You know, when I when I am rushed, I don't have like I'm already at 30 minutes right now. When I don't have an hour to do my makeup, I'm not like looking to like um, spend a lot of time. I'm looking like quick. So having to buy something that's 80 bucks it better be already 80 bucks and it better shade match me so I I have I have not touched my tart shape tape since the whole scandal and them shutting it down and the comments you know like kind of threw me off I was like you know that's weird and then I was reading the comments as Alyssa Ashley made her video and Jackie Ina made her video and like 
and I was like, okay, who else is making a video? Because I want to know, like, what's going on, like, what's their opinion? Maybe, maybe I'm overreacting about my thoughts on going back to high school on, like, how I feel, right? It's like, it could just be me. And then someone, like, I was reading people's comments, and it's one of the comments says, oh, remember what they said about Orientals? Um you know, back last year or whenever it was. I'm like, what? Hold on, hold on. So I was like, then I had to do a little research and then it's like, they there was some comment on social media and then Tarte didn't want to take responsibility. They just blamed it on an intern. And I'm like, that's still the Tarte name. Whoever you hire is, is the Tarte brand. So I just got a really bad distaste for it, all of it. And I, since then I can't even look at my Tarte products and I just, I don't know what to do. So then Liv Loves Her Makeup talked about, you know, panning. And I was like, well, I, I was like, I, I, I had gathered all of my makeup, everything Tarte related. And I was like, I, um, I don't know if I have the heart to go through makeup that I, from a company that I, have such a strong remembrance of feeling like they, no one was seeing me, like I was invisible since high school. And I haven't been in high school like in 25 years. So, I mean, I do hold a grudge. That, that's like a flaw that I try to work on, but this is something that's a little bit more than makeup. It's more about not feeling accepted in society. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I constantly get, where are you from? I'm from LA. No, where are you from? You mean ethnically? My parents were born in the Philippines. Oh, do you speak Tagalog? No, my parents don't speak Tagalog either. It's just annoying. It's like, you know, as a Caucasian, and I'm not saying this to be derogatory, do people like, oh my God, do you speak German? Or do you speak French? You know, like, I'm sure, like, correct me if wrong. Can you, do you guys get that? Do they? Do they, do people go and try to find, figure out your ancestry and then see if you speak that language? I was born in LA, born and raised in LA. I'm American and uh, I, const I still, I got it last night. Where are you from? So, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with um, my, my, my makeup. One of my palettes I got from Tarte is actually um, one of my friends. We traded makeup. I didn't want my Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette, um, and I traded, I traded it for that palette. And before that, before I got the subculture palette, I actually had um, the Jaclyn Hill palette, which it's a lovely palette. It's just too big. I don't, I don't like those 35 pan palettes. Just, it's just too much to have like all of that. Um, I'm, yes, I am working on my eyebrows again. Um, it's just too much for me to have that many choices and not know what to do with it. And, you know, like, I'm not going to travel with it. It's too big to store. I live in a really small house, so I just got rid of it. So I traded my Jaclyn Hill palette for the Subculture palette. Um, I hated the Subculture palette. And then I traded my Subculture palette and I got the Tarte palette. And I liked it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It was fun. But since I, um, the whole Tarte fiasco, I don't want to use it. So I have a palette, I have several um, blushes, and I have an eyeliner, I have the Tarte Shape Tape, and I have the Marcha Kucha Oil. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Because I can't, like the more it stays, excuse me, I'm getting all, I'm going to have cough. If I, the more I have it in my house, the more angry I get, so I need to get rid of it. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So, there's that. Am I missing anything? I've been talking too much. And I don't have my fan, and I don't like doing this. If I had my fan, I'd be fanning my face. Anyways, so, some people are like, you know, you're, you should just use it, do a project pan, and I'm like, I just don't want to use it. And people are like, well, sell it but then some people are like if you sell it you're gonna the people that buys it might fall in love with the brand and you know what like i'm i'm not i'm okay with that because 
you know, Tarte says they're gonna make it right. And until they make it right for me, I can't look at them. Some people are like, well, they already apologized, they're coming out with new shades, and they're okay with that. Not, you know, like I'm not gonna tell people how to feel. So if they wanna wear Tarte makeup, that's fine. I just, I just can't. So um, let me fix my hair and put on my lip and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I, um, since I had my hair in that top knot, I had like a bunch of dents and I didn't have my round brush to blow it out to like straighten it. I did have my uh, curler, so I just quickly ran some curls through my hair and then, oh, I don't know, I didn't use the glossy. I used this, which is uh, the Buxom Dolly and then I had the Dolly lip gloss so anyways uh, that's it I did a lot of chit chatting hopefully uh, you guys stayed all the way through I really appreciate it and I really love you guys appreciate the support um, I'm gonna insert a picture of my animals because they're not here with me because um, I, I know I have a feeling you guys enjoy seeing them in my videos which I enjoy seeing them in my videos too so <clears throat> Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments if you like this Get Ready With Me. And if you want to see more of these, I'm happy to do that. Um, if you like this format, I don't really like, say, like what I'm using. I'm just doing my makeup. And then, um, yeah. Love you guys so much. Take care.